defense, defense. I don't like to do exercise programs. I don't jog, I don't do those things, I play games. There's a lot of different strategies involved, and mainly you try to keep it in play and hit kill shots. Heads up, heads up! They're a good team. We just think we're better. <laughs> Competition is a good thing, no matter how old you are. That's a way, Fireball. That's a way. That's a way. I'm 81 years old. 80. 83. 84. 85. Next year will be my 86th birthday. All of these age groups come together, compete against each other. It's hard to explain the camaraderie that, that happens during these senior games. It's, a, it's unbelievable. The Huntsman World Senior Games are the largest annual multi-sport event in the world for athletes age 50 and over. We offer 26 different sports. We have the standard Olympic style sports like swimming and track and field. We also have shooting events. We have a very unique sport called cowboy action shooting where athletes actually dress in period garb and they participate in their event. Square dancing, bowling, bridge, pickleball, all across the board, all kinds of ways for people to get involved. The Huntsman World Senior Games were founded in 1987, and we continue to hold our event here every year in St. George, Utah. There were about 600 athletes the first year, and it was a one-week event. Now there are over 10,000 athletes, and it's a two-week event. <laughs> yes, I've been here a few times. This is the 27th year, and this is my 27th year at the Senior Games. He has been instrumental in organizing a group of 80-year-old guys that come from all over the country. They come to St. George every October. They basically meet here to play pickup ball. All right, defense now. It wasn't about how good you were, how tall you were, or how fast you were, it's you wanted to play. And I think that's what it's all about. We have competition for all levels. At any given time, during any given year, we'll have world records that are broken. But we also have athletes who maybe participated in track and field as a, a youth in high school, but then took 30 years off and decided in their retirement years they want to give it another shot. It happens all the time. It's the cleanest sport I know played in the dirt. Today we have our doubles competition going on. This is our largest number this year, and we're hit uh, 90 uh, participants. We have 21 courts, so that makes it 42 players can play at a time. We played six different couples, and we won each one, every one of them. I thought I had that one. You can practice for months and find out you come out here and they just beat you down like a dog. When I first started playing horseshoes, I was scared of her. Yes. Cleo, she's good. She likes beating us all. She's pretty serious. Cleo Wardle, she's our alternate in doubles, and right now they are leading their division. Even though that we're 80 feet away from where she might be, you can hear her. Yeah, I've got a judge! <laughs> judge! All right, Eddie, you can't do that. You can't sing. You can't talk while we're throwing shoes. Right? <laughs> she says something, I don't, I don't argue. I, okay. What do we have here? This shoe is closer than this shoe. Oh, OK. OK. Good thing we call the judge. Once you've uh, interacted with Cleo, you just know that her heart is sincere, she loves the games, and more importantly, she just loves people. She's one of those people that you just love to be around.
keep picking on an 89-year-old guy. I'm 84. I usually have the most fun of anybody. They capped it at 500 players. And there were 500 players entered before the brochures even came out. There's probably seven or eight tournaments that are going to be three to 600 people. Pickleball is played on the same size of court as a badminton court. You use a paddle and a wiffle ball. You hit it back and forth over a net. You serve underhand, and you only score points when you're serving. Or even strict beginners, they can come out and rally and keep the ball going. Joyce Jones is another real advocate of the games and has been involved for years. And she's really our resident tennis, badminton, pickleball expert. Anything with the net, she's involved in. She walks around with a jacket with all these pins from all these different events that she's participated in. Everywhere that she goes, she talks about the game. She acts as an ambassador. This is my 10th year coming to the Huntsman Games. A real amazing aspect about the games is the, the friendship and the camaraderie that happens among teammates and among competitors. And it's really common that you might see a, a volleyball team. Let's take the Voodoo Dolls, for example. They're one of our teams that comes and, and participates. They really just create a presence. We're going to win. We're going to play hard. We're going to win. And we got to kick butt. All right. We love to travel because it's all about the road trip. And when you have road trips, you can come through Vegas to get here, which is always great. In their games, they hand out treats to all their competitors. So they're walking around in their tie-dyed shirts. They're handing out chocolate suckers to everybody that they meet. And it raises the whole level of play and of friendship and camaraderie for their competitors, too. It's really about reaching out and being friends and making friends and continuing that throughout the whole event. One, two, three, four. We're playing this team best two out of three. We won the first game, and this will decide who wins the gold or the silver. Softball is our largest sport, and this year we hosted 323 softball teams. So within our event, softball is the largest single senior softball tournament in the entire world as well. 80-year-old guys they can't run too good and they can't throw too good, but they still got some power. Uh, well, he, he might need a walker. Uh, I do. Yeah. I sure do. Hurry, 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 Charlie Adams, the oldest man on the team. The 86, that man is something else. He's a legend in our area. We have nothing but fun. Just glad to be here, you know, just to see another day. If you want to rest, come into the dugout. Oh, come sit on. on the field. I want to. And if you need mouth to mouth, you're going to die. They hear me calling him Sweetie, and everybody picks up on it. And we're a bunch of vagabonds win it. Good game, guys. Good game. Good game. Great game, guys. There were two teams in the whole deal, but we won the gold. That's the main thing. This is the second gold medal we've won, and uh, this was the hardest by all means because you can just look at me. I'm 79. That's my sweetie. Front page <laughs> you. stuff. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll yes, do that, please. Yeah, well, do you want we'll to get a really good one? Do you want to get a kiss, too? It was a marvelous <laughs> game, and uh, everybody played good. We had our bad innings, but the ball was flying today. Thank you. Thank you.
you. Put your Thank sweet you. lips next to mine. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving it already. <laughs> this is like almost divine intervention. Hey, sure and we came back and, and won because we were terrible yesterday. I never offer him tips. He offers me tips all the time. <laughs> But we're usually shooting on the same team, except on handicap. <laughs> oh. You beat me by one bird, honey. Yeah. <laughs> one of the most amazing things that I observed is to watch husbands and wives participate together. A lot of times, you'll see them acting as doubles partners in pickleball or even table tennis. And I can't hear even when I don't have the earplugs in. <laughs> They're getting up together and they're encouraging each other. They're pushing each other to be better. And just go on a great vacation where they, they can make new friends, hang out with old friends, and compete on a field of competition side by side. It's pretty amazing. We have been married 60 years. And when we throw together, we stay together. <laughs> he came through this last game, he won the game. We came from Dallas, Texas. Come down and spend 10 days down here in Bolt. Go ahead, your 10th right here up. She's 87, and she's had uh, Parkinson's. She goes three times a week in senior leagues at home. It's part of our life, is bowling. made the finals and I didn't this year, so she'd get the medal. We're cutting fruit and apples and bananas. It is just such a neat experience because we meet such wonderful people. You don't have to sit here all the time. We can go and watch and trade around and, and uh, we put some good basketball. We're in the 870 division. Two of the five teams are Utah-based teams. Then there's the USA team they're a little bit like us. I think they're from all over. What happens is these guys see each other at tournaments and they recruit each other for different uh, events, which is essentially what we did and how we, our team was put together. I've been playing with the Clearwater Aces. A.J. Johnson, he is from Georgia, the other smaller guard. The other guard that plays is the guy that put the team together, Harry Carruthers. And Bobby Smith is the uh, other wingman, and he's, he's an Indiana guy as well. Oh, you want somebody from Indiana? That's a good spot. I'm excited about playing with them because they are good players. Everybody on the team knows what they're doing. 59-59 going into overtime. The first game we won, uh, it was a good game. At the end of the second overtime, our guy hit a three-pointer to tie it. Get him out. Come and get him out. out. It was a great game. Fun to play, and I'm sure fun to watch for the people who are watching. We've been doing this about 20 or 25 years now. We got a bunch of stars over here that only hit shots at the last minute. They drove me nuts. That's the first time I've ever seen a That's game with three overtimes in it. My blood pressure, good grief, <laughs> it went over the edge. <laughs> Having beaten them, we knew that if we would win this, we would probably get the number one seed in the playoffs. We play the strongest team in the tournament tomorrow morning at 9. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're loaded. Ready. Receiver. I, the receiver I was, was ready. Receiver. It's even Steven right now, and as you can see, there's a little bit of argument going on. Even though the sport's fun, when they get in a tournament, they're trying to win. No ready signals right here. We checked it out and figured out who was in the right and who was wrong, so we had a little talk about it.
Another great element of the games is the idea that it provides an opportunity for these athletes to stay active and engaged well into their later years. I'm a cancer survivor, and to me, health is very, very important, and especially for your mind, flexibility to be able to shoot the clays. If I can get uh, seniors to get off the couch and go to play and get in shape, I'll do it. When we see the 80 plus year olds playing, right. that's what we want to do when we grow up. <laughs> We hear all the time from athletes that this becomes a goal to them. They work year long to stay in shape, to stay active, to stay healthy, so that when they get here at the games, they can perform at the level that they'd like to and really enjoy themselves. You next, court number two, referee is Sunny Dairy. Braces on both knees, and I have the wrap that on my wrist because I've got arthritis in my wrist so bad. I've got tennis elbows, so I put a good salve on there. Got a really stiff neck with arthritis in there. Nothing will stop me playing. She called me a year or so ago and said that she couldn't come to the Huntsman because she had a conflict. I think it was with tennis. So I got another partner. She then called a month or two later and said she was then available. And I said, sorry, I'm not. So now we get to fight it out on the court. <laughs> this is mixed doubles, 80 to 84. It is 1 to 21. They're going to switch sides at 11. Let's do it. Anybody would think it's not only a number of the Thank you. Are you OK, Joy? Yeah. OK. <laughs> oh. Change sides. Side out. Match point. 2014-2. Oh, it just went out. Game is over. We just won the 80 plus mixed doubles. <laughs> oh, we played well and just not well enough. Not surprised to lose, but I'm glad we did as well as we did. Joyce Jones and Norm Davis are our gold medal winners this year. I feel great at 83, and I'm going to keep going as long as I can. Come on, let's get ahead of them. Come on. We have people that come up to us all the time and say, you know, I came the first year because I heard the competition was good, but I came my second and third and fourth and fifth year because I met people who were so amazing that I wanted to come back. And it really becomes almost like a big family reunion. Sure, people want to do well, but they really come for the friendship. It's not just the US. We have a lot of Canadian people here with us and, and uh, some of the other Venues countries. It, it's visit. great to see them every year. And sometimes they outshoot us, so. <laughs> but it's a lot of and, fun. And take the medals home. <laughs> we have a map that we use that tracks the number of countries that have participated in the Huntsman World Senior Games. And it's got a lot of countries that are colored in. Over the years, we've hosted 66 different nations. But we want to see that map colored completely in. We had 1,036 players from five countries that were participating here, set records. Great bunch of people and be back again next year. Just uh, it can't come soon enough. Uh, we played them in the prelims. We were able to beat them then, so this is for the, for the gold medal. They played a lot of uh, a lot of tournaments together, and, and they're a good team. Drive, we got to drive, drive. We're gonna get two here. 
We'll just play smart. We'll play smart. We'll be fine. All right, here we go. All we need is one, one or two people back there. Make them make extra passes. We got every, every possession. possession is important. Every, every possession. Offense, right. defense. It doesn't matter. Take care of the ball. Come on. Defense. They're just pounding the ball inside to their big boy, and so far it's worked pretty good for them. All right, play him tight. Hands up. All right, squeeze, squeeze him. Good job, pal. Feels really good, real good. Two gold medals, yes! There it is, huh? A lot of hard work went into that. <laughs> you know, it's always fun to win, but when you win with a group of good guys where everybody likes to share with everybody else, and that's a great uh, bunch of guys to play with. Look at me, let me just get your smile. That's what we had this week. The Huntsman World Senior Games were founded on this principle of fostering worldwide peace, health, and friendship. And we really continue to build upon that foundation. Everything that we do is based on those three principles. This is the best run tournament in the country. Secondly, you can't beat the venues. I mean, look at it. Mountains, beautiful scenery. And everybody here is so gregarious, man. It's unreal. The winning is important, but it's more important just to get out and see all your old friends and have a good time. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to play in senior games throughout the world, and I think this is the best. Okay. We're going to keep inviting, we're going to keep encouraging participation worldwide so that this idea can just really take over the world. Oh, watch out! That was my last pitch. And I have I got one point and that's all we've had. These guys have just taken us to the cleaners. Were we through? Are we through? We're done. Oh my god. We won! We finally beat Cleo. Not bad for 89. Let me give you your